Hi guys, it's Kathy here at ArtZone and I am going to show you uh, how to create in the style of Eric Carle. Eric Carle uh, is a collage artist. He um, actually does lots of things. He's an author. So here's one of the books that we uh, do for our story time, I Love Mom. Um, and for his books, he is also the illustrator. So he creates all the artwork. And the type of art he does um, is called collage. Collage means that he cuts apart paper and glues it down to make his pictures. So I'm going to work with you and show you how to make some flowers um, in the style of Eric Carle. What's great about uh, some of the things that he does, he actually designs all the paper before he cuts it apart. So we're going to cover our paper with paint and crayons and, and just kind of go for it, which means you can use any any scrap paper, any uh, newspaper, magazines, anything you can find that we can cover with paint will work. So my paper is got some um, paint on it already, so it won't matter. I'm gonna cover it with paint. This piece of paper that I'm gonna start with is actually the background. It's the piece of paper I'm gonna glue everything to, so I'm not gonna cut this one apart. Uh, I'm gonna make some flowers that will be put on top. So I think my piece of paper, my background, I'm gonna do in blues. So I'm gonna start with crayons and uh, you wanna look for lights and darks, different um, shades of your color, whatever color you choose, I'm choosing blue. And then we're just gonna kinda scribble on this paper. Push really hard because if we want our crayon to show up, when we start adding paint, we really need that wax to be built up. And I'm just gonna be mixing some of these. I'm not really caring. I'm just trying to create some wax that will show through some of my paint here and there. Um, it's kind of fun. Sometimes people will do like little hidden pictures. So maybe I'll make just a little heart over here. I don't even know where that will be in my picture, but it could be kind of fun and maybe it won't show up at all. You just never know. You don't have to completely cover every little spot on your paper. It's okay if there is some white. Now that I have made my crayon design, I'm ready for paint. Um, old paint brushes work great for this since it's not a detailed painting. I've got a light blue and a dark blue. Um, this paint is just your, your normal craft paint. Uh, this one, I believe, is uh, Apple Barrel. You'll find that at any nearby store. I'm going in between both colors. I'm not cleaning out my paintbrush, and I am just spreading it across my paper without really trying to paint anything in, in any particular details. Sometimes I can see that crayon through and sometimes I can't and that's okay. Now, once you have your paper completely covered, we're going to make some designs into the paint. You can do it with anything. You can use your fingers. It gets a little messy, have some towels by. Um, I can drag my fingers through here and when I do that, it creates these lines that will be in the background. I could take my paint containers and if I set it down and rub it back and forth, now I'm making little circles that will just be all throughout that background. There's really no right or wrong. You have fun. You could take the back of your paintbrush and even add some more designs. So Eric Carl, he would even take tissue paper and he would glue it down on top of paper to create interesting backgrounds and add some paint to it. So it's random. Now we're going to set that to the side to dry and you'll have smaller pieces of paper in your, your kit. And I'm gonna think about the different things that I might make in my picture. Uh, stems, leaves, the center of my flowers, the flower petals. I don't know, maybe you'll even make like 
Uh, Eric, he likes to make the very hungry caterpillar right here. So this particular piece of paper, I've decided to uh, cover in greens and yellows because I wanna use this for my stems and my leaves. Once again, if you look close, you'll notice I took the back of my paintbrush and I drew through my paint before it was dry. So now I have this interesting um, textured design that I can use when I start cutting and gluing. I also took another piece of paper and I made it uh, the hot colors, red, yellow, orange. I'm gonna use this for the center of my flowers. Once again, I drew through that paint. I created another piece using purples. This is gonna be my flower petals. Also drew through the paint. And then I created one more of the blue because I might wanna add some little pops of blue on top of my flowers, or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make it look like it's raining or some clouds. So you wanna do all those papers. They're gonna have to dry. Uh, so set them to the side, let them dry, then come back and we're ready to cut and glue and make our collage. So I've already done it. Mine are already dry. The back background I have this time is full of circles. And I'm gonna start with the piece of paper that I want for the center of my flower. Um, I'm gonna turn it over to the back where I don't see any designs because I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know what part of my paper I'm getting. I want it to be a surprise. So I'm gonna turn it over to the white part. Um, you could take a crayon, you could take a pencil, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make the center of my flower a circle. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. Maybe it's big, maybe it's a little. Um, you decide. You could make lots of them. And then, so I drew my circle. Then I'm gonna cut it out. Now the rest of this paper is not trash because I might choose to make more stuff. The paper is still a little wet, so it's being a little floppy on me. There's my circle. That's what I'm gonna start with on my flower. I'm just gonna set it down on my paper for now. And I'm gonna take the purples that I wanna use for my flower petals. And once again, I'm gonna turn it to the blank side and I'm gonna draw different flower petals. Um, I like to make my flower petals kind of pointy like that. But if you look at Eric Carls from his book, if you look close, his are a little more rectangle with um, a decorated end or tip. So you can have fun with that. I don't know how many flower petals I'm gonna need. I'm gonna draw a bunch of them. And of course, if I need more later, I can always make more. And then I'm ready to cut them out. Now, once again, all this extra paper, it's not trash. I still have a lot of good paper right here that I could use to make more flowers or anything else I want. If not in this picture, maybe in another picture. They don't need to be perfect. But look at all this paper I still have left that I can make things out of. So I've got a few flower petals. I didn't make many. You can make a whole lot more. And I also want a stem for my flower, which really for this flower, I think I'm just gonna keep it as um, a straight stem, which means I'm just gonna cut my green paper into some lines 
I'm gonna cut a few lines so that I have some choice into uh, which one I actually use for my stem because this was the edge of the paper. You see, it doesn't have much color to it. And then if I went a little further in, it's got all this great design to it that I could use. If I wanna make some leaves, of course I can. Once again, I'd flip that green paper over and then you decide what kind of flower uh, leaf you want. If it's big or little, maybe you have multiple. I'm gonna set these to the side. And then I'm gonna go to that blue paper. I'm actually gonna make more flower petals using this blue paper first. Maybe I'll use it to do other things too, but I think I might combine my purple and my blue. I'm gonna make some really small ones too. All right, I'm ready to start piecing it together and see what I have. So I'm gonna take, oh no, I lost my circle. There it is. I'm gonna start with my um, flower center, but I'm not gonna glue my center down just yet. I'm just gonna set it there because I kind of like to glue my center on top of my petals. So now I'll take my flower petals I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on one right there at the end here. That way, when my flower petals are dry, I can kind of bring it up and it will come up off of my paper. I really like it when um, we put a lot of flower petals on. So if you didn't make enough to fill up your flower, we can always add more. And I'm sure I did not make enough of my purple to fill up my flower. See how my, my circle is really just a guide right now to kind of help me know where to put them. It looks like I put all my big together. So I'm gonna move that one and put a smaller one. And I think I'm gonna need just a few more of the purple before I go on and grab that purple paper paper and draw some more out. Now, if I go too fast, you can always pause the video. I'm trying to make it to where you guys can kind of see what we're doing. This petal here. Once again, that paper is not trash. I have some good stuff left on that paper that we can make things out of. I'll show you some more of Eric Carl's in just a moment. He likes to make some animals. Maybe just one more here. So right now, that's what I have on my paper. And see how the flower petals still come up? And now I'm ready to glue my circle down, my center. And if you remember, I, I made some out of blue also. 
and I'm going to add, let's see if I can add some of those in, just a few, not too many, especially the really tiny ones. I like to add those in. So then it's layered more. And I could have done that out of purple too. Um, and just like that. And now I'm ready to add that flower stem. I'm just put just a few dots, not a lot. And I had my flower petals. Now, there's so much more you can do here. You've got all that space. Maybe uh, you'll make a vase or a ground or a sky. Let me show you just a few more of my favorite ones from this book. The animals are always really fun. The giraffe was one of my favorite. Here's a penguin. You see how I cut and pasted all those pieces together? Well, let me find that giraffe. If you guys don't have Eric Carle books, I hope you look for some because they are some really cool artwork. And you can see he would have taken, uh, he could have taken smaller pieces of a different color to add on to create um, the spots for the giraffe. So take all that cut up paper, create things and have fun. And we look forward to seeing you again here at Art Zone.